because I want to show you the strategy around um, pressure and performance. Now, this comes from Psychology 101, basically. And in fact, comes from sports psychology, um, where I understand it. It's, it's pretty old, clearly, but what it refers to, uh, and it's still used today, it's such a great graphic. If the more pressure I have, there's a certain, sorry, there's a certain amount of pressure that I have that will lead to optimal performance. Yeah, so on the different axes there, we can see pressure and we can see performance. Sometimes you'll see it written as stress or arousal on that axis and performance always on the Y. Down the bottom on the left-hand side where it says low, no, I'm asleep, I'm dead, I'm unconscious. Yeah, no, no pressure, no activity, no stress, no performance, zero. So every one of us needs a little bit of pressure, a little bit of stress, yeah, for our performance to start to go up. But there is this sort of optimal space that we that we operate in. You can see it. You guys can read it on there. And that's at the top of the uh, inverted U. Yep, there's this optimal zone. There's an ideal zone, then there's this optimal zone. But as you can see, the more pressure we get, our performance can start to deteriorate. Yeah, to the point that if we stay in that for long periods of time, we can, we can end up in a space of burnout. Um, I think of footy. How topical, actually. Rugby, I'm a Newcastle girl, so, yeah, New South Wales, good boys, for those of us that are watching it tonight. Um, but, you know, back in the old days, there's, there's young people in the room, you may not, but back in the old days they'd have this thing and they, they, they would all run out onto the paddock and, you know, you'd have the coaches there and they're, like, belting each other up before they get out there to, you know, get everybody going. And then they'd run out on the paddock. And with the first couple of minutes of a game, because everyone's really hyped up, what do we see? We see a punch on, yeah? You can see it in some of the players. There's so over, so much pressure that their performance has started to deteriorate. They've kind of lost control. Kind of gets out of their system and then they come back and we get to watch 75 minutes of good footy. Yeah. But we can see that when we get over, overexcited, our performance can deteriorate. We can see that when we get too much pressure and we don't know how to regulate that, don't know how to bring that back, have too much pressure. So if I, if I said to you guys right now on the pressure scale, using those as anchors, where would you put yourself on that, on that today at this moment in time? Where would you, where would you put yourself? Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.